and welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Deborah Blum here with your latest news from Israel. Two attempts to detonate explosives in Jerusalem's light rail systems were stopped, curtailing any loss of life. A 20-year-old Palestinian civil engineering student built his own pipe bombs with shrapnel to increase the damage the explosive could do inside the train. Three days before his foiled attack, the student crossed the Green Line, where there's no separation fence to pick his target. Two other young men, family members of a Palestinian teenager murdered by a Jewish extremist two years ago, plan to carry out a large-scale explosion at Jerusalem's light rail station to avenge his death and commemorate its anniversary. Donald Trump sparked uproar throughout the world with his campaign vow to build a wall along the U.S.'s border with Mexico. It's now reported that Israeli company Magal Security Systems Limited has signaled interest in helping construct the controversial border. Israel's smart fences with state-of-the-art technology are statistically proven to save lives. Over the past six years, the Israeli government has spent some $971 million to try to increase the number of Israeli Arab women in its workforce. Despite an initial surge in employment due to the nation's job training programs and efforts, the percentage has decreased to 31.5%, according to the Knesset Committee on the Status of Women. Challenges facing this group include familial beliefs about women in the workforce and occupational courses not matching up with the demands of the market. In brighter news, Jerusalem is making a push to increase the number of positions for young Palestinian women who wish to volunteer in East Jerusalem schools. New legislation and changes to Israel's education system have made recent headlines. Israel's Education Ministry just announced that different criteria will be used for measuring high school's achievements. Before, just standardized test results were taken into consideration. Now the secondary schools will also be judged based on their social and community engagement, dropout and army enrollment rates. The government hopes this will give schools the recognition they deserve. In a separate announcement, the Education Ministry reported that the gap between Jewish and Arab Israelis passing their high school matriculation exam has grown over the last year. 76% of Jewish Israelis, excluding the ultra-Orthodox, versus only 48% of Arab Israeli students passed the country's final standardized test. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Deborah Blum, and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.